Hello everybody, this is Jury's Doctor and today I'm going to show you something that I am just dumbfounded by. Um, at E Vegas last year, I was at the Little Things panel with a number of other people, including several notable streamers, uh, FCs, Alliance leaders. Lots of people raised very good requests. Little things that they'd like to see improve the quality of the game and improve people's experience and general game retention. Um, lots of really good ideas were, were levied, and, and, and many of them, um, that have, many of the things that were proposed have, have actually been added into the game already. Um, but CSP Karker and CSP Lebowski, as patient as they were at listening to all of the requests to kill Cookie pay, Camping and, and you know improve uh, information on structures and, and so on, um, they really were paying attention, and they've added a lot of really good value to the game. And I'd like to show you one feature that they've added and made available in an alpha state, which is to say that it is unfinished, um, but it is definitely already a huge improvement to the game, is the new UI pointer tool. This is available in the forums. I will provide a link to it in the description below. Uh, it is also available to be seen in Singularity. So right now I am on CC, I am in the Singularity test server, and I'm going to show this feature to you. Along the way I'm going to show you some really very useful uh, things about UI uh, navigation that I hope will help you to better understand how to play this game if you are a new pro. Uh, for those of you who are teachers uh, from Brave, from Eve University, from Red vs. Blue, from Goons, uh, from Horde. If you are watching this, please go to the forums, test out this tool, and provide your feedback to Carker so that she can help get this thing pushed out. This is a 20% by the side of her desk project that she has been able to manifest based on a recommendation that I made at Eve Vegas. Uh, this thing is amazing. Um, it is going to help you teach new bros so much better. Um, it, it's really going to amplify your ability to communicate effectively. Um, this is the new UI pointer tool. Uh, it came out of an ask where I, I asked, uh, and I wrote about this in, in INN the other day, link will be below, um, but I, I had asked to have a way to tell players that this is the thing I want you to click. And as somebody who has spent a lot of time doing tech support and doing a lot of training sight unseen with people on the other end of the telephone, um, the other end of the, the microphone or, or computer connection, um, it, it's it, you know eminently frustrating to try to describe to somebody that I want them to click on a very very small very specific item in what is otherwise a very cluttered and complicated UI uh, for those who are uh, you know you know senior or experienced players of you online you already know uh, a lot of the things that I'm going to want to show you but for somebody who's brand new to this game the the UI by itself can be drinking from the fire hose. Um, so let's, without a further ado, show you how you access this new feature in CC. So in CC, you're going to go to Shortcuts, you're going to go to Window, and you're going to scroll down until you start seeing the word Open at the start of each description. And at the bottom is Open Pointer Window. Now I'm going to give this a, a key binding of a left square bracket. And just to make sure that this is clearly visible for everybody, I'm going to set the transparency of my window to zero so that you can see as I change things. Um, a good thing to, to note while we're discussing this is that you can actually match the theme of your UI to the ship that you're currently flying. Um, but I personally prefer the MR background because I quite like this black and gold. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you is that you can also change into colorblind mode, uh, which is a beta feature, but if you are colorblind, you can change the hue and focus to make the um, UI much more parsable for you. Now, what the UI pointer tool does is that it allows me in a fleet to be able to share UI element prompts with people whom I am teaching. And these UI element prompts work no matter where that object exists in their UI. So no matter how they've moved items around, no matter where their windows are located, if I give them a UI prompt 
in chat and they click on it, the game will show them where to click. So I'm going to undock to show this. And I'm going to show this feature off really briefly. And then I'm going to leave the video at that point so that you can provide your comments and feedback. Um, but I, this is a game changer. Like honestly, it, go find Carker on Twitter. Go find her on, um, you know, uh, the forums, Instagram, whatever social media you want to find her on and just show her love because this thing is great. So let's say I want to go to Fleet. Well, here's, here's Fleet. You see what I did there? There's that little prompt, that little blue ping, just like in the new player experience, saying, hey, this is Fleet. Well, I'm going to go to Fleet and I'm going to say Form Fleet. So now that I'm in a fleet, I have fleet chat. This is where this thing gets useful. So if I tell somebody that I want them to find their overview window and click on the little hamburger menu that opens their overview settings. If you are brand new to this game, what I've said just now probably sounds an awful lot like ancient Greek. But if I say, your overview window is the window that has the distance between you and other stellar objects. And at the top of that window, within the window itself, just above the tabs for mining and PVP and other selections, at the very left of that window, there's a very small, probably fuzzy box depicting five stacked horizontal bars. You might be getting closer, but if you don't speak English as a first language, if I haven't enunciated well, if I have an accent, if I'm speaking too quickly for you, if you have a bad audio connection, you can really quickly lose track of what it is I'm talking about. But if I say, I don't know, put a link in in chat, in fleet chat, and you click overview, and suddenly a blue prompt says, oh hey, look, it's this window over here. This is where I want you to look. And then I say, I want you to click the little square box that says overview settings. Well, you mean this thing right here? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> this is great. So, what if I want you to go into your fleet window? Well, how do you open that? You click Fleet. What if I want you to open your Fleet Settings? Well, it's that little box right there, Fleet Actions. And if you click on it, and I say, okay, now you see a menu, click on Broadcast Settings. Well, a lot of people don't even know how to get this far. The number of players, experienced players, that I've talked to that don't know that you can change what shows up in your broadcast history, other than just using the filters that are provided, like if you're a Logi and you don't want to see target, you don't want to see at location or spotted an enemy or request that fleet hold position or need backup or, um, you know, jump to beacon or fleet event. You just want to know if somebody is uh, in need of shield or armor or hull or a capacitor, and you want to know if they're saying stop, I've got enough capacitor, often people use in position at for that, and you want to know your basic alignments because 90% of the time you're going to be receiving fleet warps from your leadership, well, this is how you turn off those other broadcasts so that you don't have just a constant scrolling stream of events in your broadcast history. Whereas if you are a F1 monkey, the only thing you might want is these three windows here, which is shoot this guy and go here. So you really do have the ability to guide new players a whole lot more effectively with the UI pointer tool. And there's so many um, built-in options. How do you find the calculator? Well, you go to the Neocom and you open utilities and go to calculator. And it's telling you, well, there it is. So you go to Neocom, utilities, calculator. And you can see that it's actually flashing. Look how freaking beautiful this is. It doesn't just say, okay, go here and click these things. This staged 
list for calculator, for calendar. Here it's saying social and calendar. Well, you can see this element is flashing and it will continue to flash until I click on the thing that I need. Social calendar. This is amazing. This is, this is beyond my wildest dreams, achieving the thing that I hoped it would achieve. Um, and when Carker pulled this out as a 20% project by the side of her desk in basically six months um, and, and showed this to me, th this, I mean, really, guys, their team, the little, the little things panel, uh, Carker and Lebowski, magical creatures. Go show them love. This is this is amazing. And and if you are in one of the major teaching organizations, if you're in EVUNI, if you're in um, Brave Newbies, if you're in Pandemic Horde, if you're in Goons, uh, if you're in Red versus Blue, go to the forums. Follow the link in the description below in this video and uh, provide feedback on this tool. Go to CC, try it out, find the things that don't work. Um, and uh, or the things that you need, the things that are missing, and and get feedback to them so they can turn this from an alpha state product into a finished product that can be incorporated into the game because this, I can't describe how amazing this is. Um, one thing I will raise just in case Kirker happens to be watching this video is um, there is no option for route. Um, one of the things that players often get lost on is that if you have route collapsed, it doesn't show the route in space to where you're going. And while they have this lovely new, um, while they have this lovely new universal search tool, which another top tier feature, um, it will show your route in space only if you have show route path in space turned on. So if I change my angle here, I can then see, well, here's my general location of the gate out of this system and because I am in a 0.0, .0 system null sec it's going to be a red path until I get to low sec and then it's going to get progressively orange and then it's going to get green as I get into high sec and as I follow that route to Jita oh it gets a little lighter in color over here a little bit yellow maybe like I'm going through Nyarja well we're messy beer or Uidana so you can follow this route through space to where it's going. The secondary effect that that has is, of course, that when I'm navigating, it lights up the uh, gate that I'm supposed to travel to. Um, a lot of players don't know that this is the yellow brick road. When somebody says follow the yellow brick road, they mean follow the syntax or the uh, UI highlighted object in your overview, meaning go here, go to this gate to begin the process of, of getting out of this system. And you can also, a lot of people don't know this either, you can right click on the boxes in the route and choose jump through Stargate and it'll do it for you. These are all little tiny elements. I mean, really this this icon in the, in the, in the um, identifier for the overview, uh, for this overview object, this thing on my 27 inch screen at 1080p is maybe 15 or 20 pixels wide by 20 high. Same thing for these little boxes over here, 10 or 15 pixels in size. When you're a brand new player and I'm trying to get you to click on something and I'm trying to describe this to you sight unseen, um, give, having the ability to you know, pop something into Fleet and and highlight that for you and, and give you a way to see that this is precisely the thing I want you to click on, this is indispensable. Um, this is probably the best feature added to even the last 10 years, at least. Um, so honestly, Carker, <laughs> thank you. I'm Jury's Doctor. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video.